When I was younger, this wouldn't be me. I would be crying like there. So here we are at the Japanese island. First off, if this is your first time, congratulations, you have made it. I'm kidding. If it's your first time, guys, my name is Felicity. This year, I decided to pack my bags and travel to Congo. My goal there was to experience life as ordinarily as I could. And I'm taking you guys with me. I would like to encourage you to subscribe just so you are notified when I post future videos. <laughs> guys from my bed it is 6 50 in the morning and i'm awake because i went to sleep early as you can see i had a good nap because i feel like my under eyes agree we've got plans we are going to a fish market here in kinshasa the big one a famous one it's called kinkole we are going to eat some fish and in the process i also want to take you along with me um the thing is we haven't really planned on how the trip is going to be at the exact time i'm hoping that we get to go there before afternoon <laughs> woke up and my lights don't seem to be working there is one in the kitchen that is working one in the bathroom that is working but it doesn't seem like the main lights in the room are working oh this is the food that i was eating yesterday i think i'm still gonna eat this like today and tomorrow it's a lot of food I don't know what that was about, but the light is back in the room. Let me try the bathroom. Okay, that's fine. I think it's okay now. So I am ready now. There is a friend that is waiting for me downstairs. This is my guide for today. Hi. 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 So just in case you're wondering how long this trip took us guys it took around one to two hours of commuting and as you guys may know from this information kinshasa is such a huge huge city i mean it's a city of more than 13 million inhabitants so it's that big one of the things that i really really enjoyed about this trip is the fact that it allowed us to kind of discover different parts of kinshasa and we took three different connections to arrive to kinkole because it's like on the other side of all the crazies in kinshasa so it was really exciting for me because it was a, a moment of discovery let me know in the comments what do you think about kinshasa seeing it as we're seeing it right now on the screen what do you think about kinshasa and if you are from Kinshasa let us know in the comments where are you from in Kinshasa and what is your favorite suburb later okay guys we have arrived but Okay, so we are going to see, going to eat some fish. The place we're going to is just across the river. Yeah, come and eat some fish with us. Okay guys, so Conductor is going to show us around before we go to eat fish Okay, let me rephrase that Our plan initially was not even to discover this river to begin with But our guy that we met here He offered to bring us to this nearby island there Before we cross to go eat the fish We were like, why not? This is so great So that's what we're gonna do Our first stop here is to go to that island And then after that we will continue to go eat the fish When I was younger, this wouldn't be me This would not be me right now I would be crying like there There's a voice here <laughs> yeah i think we would probably end up on the other side but for now we're just doing like a tour around the river
and then <laughs> The fishermen, they're hustling. They were saying that you're just filming the river. You should film people that are hustling as well. Those little houses there, it's like where the fishermen stay. Some of them, it's really beautiful out here. Bonjour. Bonté. Tu fais ça bonté thé. So pretty, yo. It's so pretty here. So here we are at the Japanese island. I don't know why it's called that. It's in Congo, but it's really awesome some fishermen and the families live here i have to get down so i'll just jump it's because so <laughs> wow is right because let me just say this again for the 100th time congo is a living wonder and its beauty is so timeless so natural and being here i feel so blessed to be experiencing this right now the abundance that is in this place is it's it's beyond me it's beyond explanations and being here it's it's weird that i can feel this way while i'm just in one place but when you look at this place you can see the depth that it incarnates the wealth that it incarnates so i, f I just feel so blessed to be here we just left that island we're going to go back to we're going back the way that we came but we will deviate somewhere because we need to go to that actual market where we will be eating my bouquet feeling a bit hungry so we'll just stop there and eat and then after that we'll take the boat back and then we'll we'll begin to go back home the breeze is amazing out here if you visit kinshasa and you want to get out of all the crazies i would suggest that you come here you can call it just see the view it is awesome let me not even spoil it by being in the front of you guys i'll just show you around <laughs> as we eat some kinkole fish. This is why we came all the way here. They're selling it for 3,000 Congolese francs, and then they're also selling Kwanga, and Kwanga is going for either 500 or, or 1,000 Congolese francs.
hospitality later. Okay guys, so we are done eating now. We're heading back so that we can catch our connections and start heading home. It was nice. I would say the fish was not the best. I've tasted better liboke. I guess it depends on who cooks it. So hopefully I will eat better ones while I'm still in Congo, but it was a good time. But I think coming here, what I enjoyed most is like the view and just the ride around. That's what I enjoyed the most. So. Oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> so guys, all is well that ends well. After our day was done, obviously we had to be heading home. I decided to film this just so I can show you a bit more of Kinshasa while we returned home. We went past the Njili International Airport which is like the main airport in Congo. This is Njili. So sit back, enjoy the view and let me know what you think in the comments. See you guys on the other side. the day comes to an end we came back home thank god and it was beautiful out there and i really hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if the lord touches your heart to support we take cash cryptocurrencies and if i'm kidding i'm kidding um ciao anyway so support congo talks everywhere that you can comment like and share this video and uh i hope you enjoyed this trip as much as i did so i am going to just take myself out of this camera situation and i will see you guys in the next episode now and just downstairs there is a church going on and the pastor is speaking literally in the microphone and there are not even that many people i don't know why it has to be this loud but god is good i guess god is, i don't guess god is good